the defense intends to offer some sort of testimony that Ms. Anthony was a good mom. Uh, in that circumstance, they may open the door to the use of photographs that may otherwise appear to be irrelevant to any of the issues in the trial. If they, in fact, open that door, then Ms. Anthony's activities for the nearly three years that she was a mom do become relevant. So it is our position at this time that the court cannot rule that they are because we simply don't know the context in which they will be presented or at what point in the trial that may occur. As it relates to the after photos, after June 15th of 2008, uh, the state has constructed a uh, very carefully developed timeline of Ms. Anthony's whereabouts during the time frame alleged in the indictment from June 15th to July 16th. The photographs that they are appear to at this time specifically object to uh, have to deal only with the photos taken of Ms. Anthony where she is scantily clad because there are certainly other photographs during that time frame where she's at Target or she's at a, uh, another location in Ikea where she's dressed normally. The, so it appears that the issue is her dress and her activity in a photograph, a specific photograph. Question, Ms. Drain. Yes, sir. Uh, assume for the moment the defense does offer evidence uh, that uh, Ms. Anthony is a good mother. Uh, what relevance, if any, uh, does photographs of uh, Miss Anthony uh, at this club in the blue dress that some may term as a mini dress uh, have anything to do with her being a good or bad mother? How would one what is the state's theory on that? Well, the blue dress specifically is, if we're speaking of the same thing. She's up on the stage. Right, those occur during the time frame alleged in the indictment. So those would not necessarily be exclusively to establish whether or not we are rebutting their assertion that she is a good mother, loving mother, taking care of her daughter as appropriate mother. Uh, but that she was, she's made statements to law enforcement that she went to clubs during the time frame where her daughter was not in her custody looking for her daughter. That that's what she was doing at these clubs. She was looking for her daughter. So the photographs clearly disprove that assertion that that's what she's doing at the club. We're gonna have to deal with these photographs most of them uh, uh, before trial uh, because I'm not going to have a great deal of time to have jurors uh, locked up uh, in the jury room while we go through photographs and make arguments back and forth uh, whether or not they should be admitted. The state's motives are clearly transparent here. When she refer, when Ms. Drain Burdick refers to the uh, post June sixteenth uh, comments or, or photographs, she uses the word scantily clad, and she's not dressed normally. Well, that's Ms. Drain Burdick's interpretation, and that is Ms. Drain Burdick. That is exactly what Ms. Drain Burdick is attempting to prove by by introducing these photographs. The issue is whether and I understand their timeline theory, but if the timeline, or if Miss Anthony's point, if Miss Anthony's position or location is in question at that specific time, and if that's an issue, that's understandable. But that's not what the state's theory of their case is. Their theory is that 
Miss Anthony, or, or I'm excuse, excuse me, Kaylee Anthony, died June 16, 2008. That's their theory. So what happened June 20th has absolutely no relevance to the state's case in chief. Now I understand if an issue comes up and that timeline comes up that it could possibly be used in rebuttal. And this goes back to the uh, ruling in a vacuum issue. But quite frankly, I, I think their motives are transparent. It's clearly to paint Miss Anthony in a bad light. And these statements are nothing short of outrageous.